Good morning, Mustangs, and a very happy Thursday to all of you. Ms. Salisbury is here with me again today, and we're going to be starting off today's announcements as promised by sharing with you what we learned from the student feedback form that many of us, or sorry, many of you sent us this week. We want to give a big shout out and thanks to all of you who submitted your thoughts about second semester and for your feedback about how virtual learning is going. There were a total of 305 students who responded to our survey, and 159 of you left specific comments. Mr. Frank and I did read every comment that you left for us, and we're so grateful that you took the time to do that. Today, we're gonna to share the results with you. And as we speak here, Mr. Albertus is sharing the results with PPS administrators. We will also share these results with student council at the, our next meeting with them, and with PC teachers and our staff at our next staff meeting. Now, this is going to feel a little bit like a 1992 Ross Perot ad, so please bear with us. And if you don't know Ross Perot, you should ask your government teacher. This first chart shows that 65% of student respondents should, would prefer to stay virtual given the health risks. And from the comments, we learned that there are polls on social media that suggest that this percentage may actually be even higher. About 35% of our respondents believe that even with the risks, they would prefer to come in for face-to-face -face instruction. Health and safety concerns uh, were the biggest factor in your thinking for 60% of you, which pretty much aligns with the percentage of folks who feel that the risk of in-person learning is too great. For folks who had other top priorities, about it was about three to one in terms of learning preference over convenience. Mr. Frank and I were very interested in seeing the results about the question on how virtual learning is going for you. And as you can see here, over 80% of you believe that virtual learning is going well and a good percentage actually prefer it to face-to-face -face learning. Just under 20% of you shared that virtual learning is a major struggle. And we want to remind you that there's a team of staff here at PC who are here to help. Please reach out to your teacher or your counselor or to us. We want to support you. We know that PC students care about other people, so it didn't surprise Ms. Salisbury and me that 60% of you were most concerned about spreading COVID to your family or, uh, or others in our community and almost 20% were more concerned about how all these changes were impacting your learning. Finally, it looks like most of you are staying connected by meeting up with friends and classmates online. A majority are still finding ways to meet up in person, masked up, we hope, and athletics is a major source of connection as well. Clubs and other activities are next on the list, and we wanna remind you that those are still up and running, so get involved. And from the comments, we also learned a lot. We learned that for many of you, the virtual learning experience isn't as bad as you expected. For others, we hear you that this is incredibly overwhelming. For some of you, you've been able to stay connected through extracurriculars, and others and others found it difficult to connect with for a whole host of reasons. We want you all to feel connected to this place. If you are interested in finding out ways to connect or are struggling to connect for any reason, reach out to Ms. Smith in the activity office and let her know what kinds of things you're interested in or reach out to Ms. Salisbury or to me. We are here for you and we want to help. Another one of our students commented that they were saddened that it feels like students are the last to know, even though they are the most impacted by the decisions that we make. That was really hard, but very important for us to read. We want to remind you that all of the Mustang Minutes, which are Mr. Albertus's weekly newsletter, those go to your PPS email. And that is the same exact way that we communicate with our families. And one of the things that was loud and clear in the comments is that many of you are nervous about the proposed rescheduling of second semester. And today we have an opportunity for you to be the very first to officially know the details to some of the changes to the plan that are coming your way, thanks to the feedback of students, families, and staff. The biggest change is that we are no longer going to change the master schedule for next semester. This means you will most likely have the exact same classes that are in your Skyward for second semester right now. Rather than break classes out into all online and face-to-face -face sections, every class will have a mixture of both. So for instance, in the fourth hour class that you're in right now, there will be some students who are physically in the classroom and some that are online. We still need folks to commit uh, for at least a marking period so that we can make sure we're keeping low enough numbers in the building to allow folks to keep appropriate social distancing in the classrooms but you will have the opportunity to change your selection for the fourth marking period. This option also allows students who are face-to-face -to, -face to temporarily switch to online if they need to quarantine. 
we know that this will present significant challenges instructionally for teachers, but overwhelmingly, they agreed with you that the flexibility to change as the situation changes was critical. If you haven't had a chance to share your feedback, we're going to leave the form open through this weekend. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see your family and you at next week's virtual information sessions. And now on to the rest of our announcements. School photos and senior portraits are due to the yearbook by this Sunday. The yearbook staff wants each and every Mustang to be in this year's book, a yearbook that is capturing a year like never before. You have three days to get a head and shoulders photo of yourself and upload it to www.hgeshare.com using school code 3604. If you have questions, email Ms. Albertus at aalbertus at portageps.org. Don't delay. Link crew leaders. Uh, we'll meet with our ninth grade groups next Wednesday during third hour. They have a lot of fun activities planned. It will be a great way to celebrate the holidays. Philosophy Club meets tomorrow from 1 to 2. You can access the Google Meet link, uh, meet uh, google.com slash ttx dash kent dash kpf from the announcements transcript or by contacting Mrs. Lavasser or Asad Khan. Kids in Science meets tomorrow at 11 a.m. The meeting link will be sent to all members. Math helps. If you need help with math, fill out the form in the announcements to request uh, help tomorrow from 1 to 2. That's it for today's announcements. Have a great day and be safe.